10 novel schemes with a value near or more than United States $1 billion join a list of 40 mega projects. As 2025 shapes up to be a demanding year in America for infrastructure activity, the infrastructure projects will be backed administration's America $2 trillion investing in United States agenda. The projects have been bundled into a program at OFCCP called the Mega Construction Project Program. We will show in this video a list of 10 newest U.S. mega projects. New Buffalo Bills Stadium The new facility will have a capacity of 62,000 spectators almost 10,000 fewer than its predecessor. The stadium will thus rank among the smallest in the NFL League. However, comfort and visibility will be improved, and spectators will be able to enjoy a more diverse range of seating choices. The stands will be divided into multiple levels and will be roofed at the top. Full roofing was abandoned not only because of the high cost of such a solution, but also because broadcasts from snowy Buffalo have often attracted attention and have almost become part of the Bills' image. The cost of the investment was initially estimated at $1.4 billion, with later reports of further increases, reaching a figure of $1.7 billion. Gateway Program Hudson Tunnel Project Systems and Fit Out, New York and New Jersey The Hudson Tunnel Project Rail Project, in total, is expected to cost more than $16 billion. This leg of construction will include final design and construction of the new Hudson River Tunnel including renovating the existing 113-year-old North River Tunnels. By project end, new tracks will be installed, as well as signals, traction power, ventilation, and fire and safety systems. The system installation and fit-out portion of the project is receiving funding from the American Department of Transportation in the amount of $3.8 billion. The sprawling project is scheduled to finish around 2035. Brightline West High-Speed Intercity Passenger Rail System, California and Nevada is touted as the country's first true high-speed passenger rail system, and it will connect Rancho Cucamonga in the greater Los Angeles area to Las Vegas, Nevada. The project was awarded $3 billion from the Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act for Intercity Passenger Rail Program, with another $3.5 billion raised by private activity bonds from the American Department of Transportation. Monies will be used for final design, right-of-way acquisition, and construction of 218 miles, 350 kilometer, of tracks, for stations plus facilities, signal systems, rolling stock, and roadway modifications. First service is expected in 2028. Penn Station Access, New York. The more than $3 billion project will rehabilitate 19 miles, 31 kilometer which connects New York City's Penn Station with New Rochelle, New York. The scheme will upgrade signal systems, as well as provide rehabilitation of four bridges, construction of four new interlockings and five new power substations, and upgrades to two existing substations, and overall track rehabilitation. Initial plans for work at Penn Station were announced in March as part of a broader investment by commuter rail company Amtrak. Construction of the four stations is expected this year, with the project planning to conclude in 2027. Upper Ohio River Navigation, Pennsylvania. The project will rehabilitate and build new infrastructure for the Montgomery Lock and Dam to address poor structural condition and inadequate lock capacity for modern navigation tows. The entire project, which includes rehabbing two other lock and dam systems in the region, will cost $2.1 billion. The Montgomery Lock and Dam portion of the project is estimated to cost just less than $1 billion. No estimated completion date was provided for the Montgomery Lock and Dam segment, but the work for the entire scheme is expected to last until 2050. Raleigh to Richmond Innovating Rail Program, Phase IAN2, North Carolina. While Raleigh waits for its Virginia-based capital connection, the city has its own leg of the rail project underway, which will upgrade and put in new track from Raleigh to Wake Forest, North Carolina. Included in the $1.1 billion of funding is 11-grade separations and closure of multiple at-grade crossings. The 162-mile, 261-kilometer track is estimated to take 5 to 10 years to construct. Transforming Rail in Virginia Phase 2, Virginia and Washington Capital, railway project that seeks to improve track, bridge, and stations along the regional route. A major portion of the project includes construction of a new long bridge over the Potomac River, connecting Washington Capital with the state of Virginia. Once complete, the entire megaproject is expected to reduce bottlenecks and extend capacity for travelers in Virginia, Washington, D.C., and Raleigh, North Carolina. Phase 2 received $729 million in federally funding for the more than $2 billion project that is expected to finish in 2030.